Good morning fellow option traders. Welcome to the daily scan for Thursday, May 1st, 2014. Thank God it's May. That's all I got to say. Oh, that rhymes. Anyway, uh, yesterday, um, from our announcement perspective, we had kind of mixed uh, announcements here. Uh, and the Fed's going to just, you know, sort of continue tapering and keep an eye on everything. And they're confident that the economy is recovering. There are definitely conflicting signs to that effect and some serious ones, too. But um, everybody seems to just not want to pay attention to the fundamentals and rather just uh, there's a lot of money around. Somebody's got it. I guess the 5% or the 1% or whoever, the bankers definitely have it. And the government definitely has it. So it must be investing in itself, which is what it's doing. So everything is looking pretty rosy for right now. For today, we have motor vehicle sales for today, Thursday. Jobless claims. Uh, for this week, new claims, personal income and outlays, PMI manufacturing index, the ISM manufacturing index, and construct construction spending. It's going to be a busy day on the announcement front, but probably more so is LinkedIn's earnings announcement after the market today for that uh, long put that I have. And then tomorrow, kind of a biggie, is the unemployment for... Uh, April, and then factory orders. Those will be before the market opens tomorrow. Okay, let's take a look across the ponds. Over in Asia, we are mixed. Uh, some up, some down, and in Europe, the story is pretty much the same there as well. All right, jumping over to the U.S. Um... We're flat. Gold took a big hit overnight, almost 1%, and oil also is below $100 a barrel. And I guess that's a good thing. I don't see that reflected in fuel prices right now, at least not yet. They're still hovering around the $4 mark here, like $380 something, $378 right around there, um, which is kind of high considering that we're under $100 a barrel. Usually that would drop down below 350 but we'll see if that happens in the next couple of days. All right, um, and then yesterday we got an alert on Tesla about 2.45 in the afternoon here, Eastern Time. And we took a look at it and we said, okay, Tesla, you kind of proved it to us. So we're just going to go ahead and do a CSS V2 trade, which would be an at, which was and still is an at the money um, at the time. Uh, bear put or bull put. And we bought two of them. And then also yesterday we had. Uh, we took a look at that 20 Delta trade on UMP and we decided to get in on four of them. So we'll take a look at those as we go through the A plus list. We'll slip over to the Analyze tab here. And uh, word about, t well, we'll talk about TLT when we get to it. I have some, a little bit of things to say about that. And then I wanted to just expound a little bit on the 20 Delta. I got a question on it yesterday. Um, the 20 Delta, basically, and let's let's just go to a chart. And we'll go to UNP because that's one I just did one on yesterday. All right. Um, UNP um, wasn't real confident about the momentum here. And so you, when you have an entry here for CSSV2, you also you have an option for anything, you know, from at any delta that that you could possibly want. So to go back here and take a look at the chain, 
I chose a regular May expiration. This is kind of a standard um, credit spread that a lot of people do. They're, they are higher risk, and here's why. Um, let's go back here just for a second here. Uh, this delta of the short is at 21. This is a delta column. The delta is at 21. And that's all I do is I use the indicators for CSS V2 and then I have an option of practically doing any delta that I choose like from 50 down to 20 or 10 or anything else I might pick. That's all it is. It's just um, this is a higher probability because it's further out of the money but a higher risk at the same time. So just to add to that, here we have um, our reward is going to be $200, but our risk is, well, $1,800 rounded off. So that's about a 10 to 1, roughly. Just about a 10 to 1. And that's about as far as I would want to go. Um, so our risk, we're risking 10 to make a dollar. So we're putting up ten dollars to work for us in hopes of making a dollar and that's ten percent return on in three weeks which isn't too bad so that's really the only thing about the 20 delta some of the other uh, picks for 20 deltas maybe if um, you're in a nice trend identifiable trend and let's see here they don't get exactly the perfect signals like here you don't exactly you get a break here on the stochastic where it's supposed to be solid red and it isn't but it gives you what looks like a very nice entry you might do a 20 delta here so it's like it's just using the stochastic the cycles in the stochastic which basically follow the price here and you can see that as price pulls back and, and gives you an opportunity to get in and it moves up and it pulls back again and gives you an opportunity to get in and the same thing here so this gave us an opportunity to get in we got in yesterday <clears throat> excuse me with a 20 delta I think that that was later in the day I can see where I put the time down here yes it was later in the day So that's the only thing about the 20 delta. And another one that we had listed for our 20 delta was Celgene. And looking at that chart, um, we were looking to do a bear call on that. We didn't get the hook that we wanted, but this is a 20 delta. We, we put a yellow target up here on it. So if we should get a move down on this, today this is still a 20 delta candidate you can see that we didn't get perfect um, stochastic indicator here we would want this to go red all the way down to the at least the 30 but preferably the 20 and then move back up above the 70 and preferably the 80 but here there was a violation it didn't didn't get down here it only got down to uh, actually fit 43 not not anywhere near 30 but that's good enough to give us you know this type of price action where we get a, and actually a bump up in price and a downtrend which is a good entry for a bear call credit spread with a delta of 20 so all you simply do is just go to the option chain and say for a bear call, I'm looking for a delta of 20. So you might pick something with, say, a 155 here for the short, which would be up here. So you can see that that is a better probability. If we look at probability, let's go ahead and plug that one in. And we'll make this a regular May expiration and look at our risk profile and let's make this a regular May expiration here so now we're looking here we take this slide and drag it over here to the break-even 
and this is the probability that it's going to expire in the money or at least get below or above the break even here and that's about a 20 percent chance so you have an 80 percent probability of being successful but your risk is much greater here you're risking about seventy dollars or you're risking four um, four hundred thirty two dollars to make seventy so to figure out that probability let's just go ahead here and we'll just do that right in front of everybody so we have four hundred and thirty two and we divide that by 68 and we get about a 6.3 to 1 risk to reward and that's just you know you want to keep it under 10 so hopefully the 20 will give you something under 10 and of course the higher the IV the more premium you're going to collect on that so that's the way you kind of figure that out. So that's what I did. All right. So just to recap, we'll go back here to cell gene. When you have a chart pattern like this, and it doesn't quite qualify for the CSS V2 rules, but you have a nice identifiable trend, and you have a uh, price is giving you an opportunity to get in at a good level here and you get your hook so if we get a red hook here and a red hook down here then it's an entry for a 20 delta trade and um, as I go through the scan I identify those that I think might be good 20 delta candidates all right, let's get going here because time is a wasting, as they say. Dang, I hate that when it does that. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Apple. Uh, definitely in an uptrend. Have a target set, waiting for it to come and meet up. Amazon. Okay, Amazon is. Definitely in a downtrend. Looks like it is in setup mode right about now. Looks like it's going to open up a tad. So it's probably going to continue up there, but I'm going to record it as a setup. Boeing. Nothing live. We have a dividend coming up. Um, are we in a downtrend? We might be. This uh, looks more like a, another thing for 20 delta is if you have a moving average that looks like as though it's kind of flattening out. That also might be the time to do um, a 20 delta. It looks like as though we're going to open up, but that one is, this is more of a 20 delta. I would, yeah, because there's a break here and it's not real pretty. So this would be a 20 delta. All right. Baidu uh, in a downtrend we're waiting for it to come up here and hit our target so I'll let that one mature a little bit longer sell gene we just kind of beat that one to death uh, we're still waiting for our hook here so that still is in a 20 delta mode and that was because the targets up here on uh, upper side of the stochastic that would be a bear call bear call territory up here bull put territory down here chipotle nothing live downtrend uh, looking for a hook we are in a setup situation here all right costco nothing live um, flat moving average. This is really more of a 20 delta, but it's nowhere near ripe for anything right now. CVX. 
We have earnings coming up. We're just going to stay away from that. Take a look at the Dow. The Dow I heard was, I thought I heard was at a new high. Um, I'm going to move this over. Let's see. Let's move this over to. That's another way besides activating it. You can just change the date on it. Um, I thought they said that there was a new high in the Dow yesterday. Okay, so what are we seeing here? We didn't see any premium in this is what we saw. So we're just going to move on. Igor, uh, we had an alert set. It definitely failed us. And we have earnings coming up, so we're just going to kill that. FedEx, we are live in FedEx and doing pretty well. We've we are at 50% um, profit here, and this was with a May one expiration. It's going to expire tomorrow. So FedEx is doing well. I'm going to set an alert uh, below the open yesterday. Um, just in case something goes wrong. I want to know about it. So this is just a alert alert. <laughs> it's not an entry alert or anything like that. It's actually an open trade alert. Alright, F5 networks. Um, it could be a 20 delta, but it's definitely in the setup phase. I would probably do just a 50 delta on this one. Just a regular CSS V2 um, type of trade on this one. And this is clear as a bell. Just some really nice solid lines here. So this would be if we get a hook down today and I'm also going to alert this. Um, if we get a somewhere below here if we get it hooked down today, um, it would be an overnight trade. Yes, I'm just looking here, just rethinking. Okay. To look at gold we are in gold a couple of different ways here we do have a looking to pull a hundred bucks out of this thing for this week so we'll see if that works out um, yeah looks like it was a 20 delta trade Definitely can tell by looking at the risk and reward. Risk, uh, this is a one or four to one. So easy to figure this one $400 in risk, $100 in reward. All right, Google. Uh, this is a setup on Google. And I am actually going, I wouldn't get in on this this morning. This would be an overnight kind of a trade. Looks like it might open up, up this morning. So it may not give us what we're looking for, but it is a setup. IWM, we're sort of in that with the Russell. And we'll take a look at that when we get down there. LinkedIn, uh, we just have our straight put here. Um, moved up after market. Looks like it's coming down. We have our earnings after the market tonight. Should be fun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 3M. Okay, so this is another, um, if it wasn't for earnings here, this would be a good 20 delta. This is an example. Didn't get down to 30. Gave us a hook. It's in an identifiable and clear uptrend. And it would have been a good 20 delta trade. Except for this earnings that was stuck in there. 
Netflix. You know, there's not a lot of momentum on some of these two, but Netflix, um, actually, it we're in an alert status here on Netflix. All right, Priceline. Almost in alert status. Um, because of this, I wouldn't do a 20 delta because we would want to do an expiration a little bit further out on a 20 delta rather than the very next weekly expiration. Uh, you want to stretch it out at least two weeks. And you get actually um, better prices if you go to normal expiration, which in this case is uh, two and a half weeks away, but it runs through earnings, so I'm not even touching that. But this is another good example. If you get a hook here of a 20 delta trade, uh, also it's trying to set up for a CSS V2, and in this, well, no, I don't. It's been there's been no price, not much price movement here. Uh, it's a little bit risky, and it's a new downtrend. I want a good solid move up and then a hook down before I jump in on this one. It may be too late because we have earnings coming up. Oh. Next week, Thursday, it looks like. So we may have to take a pass on Priceline. The queues we are in, the queues we looks like as though we are suffering from a little bit of uh, volatility collapse here on this particular trade. We'll see how that works out. We're hanging in there. The rut we have a. 20 delta, we did a 20 delta on this. This was on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday. We're not getting our weeks in here right. One, two, three, four. No, the weeks aren't showing up right. We need to zoom in just a little bit more. To get our weeks to show up right. There we go. These little lightly dotted lines now are weeks. And in this case, are at $10. Um, price separation so now we can see our weeks nicely okay so uh, we did get in on this on Tuesday as a 20 delta and I would probably encourage you to do 20 deltas on indexes because they don't move a whole heck of a lot uh, spiders take a look at that just for market sentiment, this could have been a 20 delta trade as well. Um, and we're just kind of keeping an eye on this 20 MA here, 20 EMA that I added in here. See what it's doing. It is above the 50. It's riding right along it. <laughs> um, we'll see how that works out. It took a pass on this 20 delta. TLT, we are in TLT, and it's a few words about TLT. It pays a dividend, but I don't think they really call, call it a dividend. It does have a yield, if you take a look at this. The yield is 3.03%, but for some reason they, on the charts, they, and I have corporate actions on here, and we've seen dividends for everything else, but they don't show it here. So I went and I did a little bit of research on it, and they just don't call it a dividend. I think because it's treasuries, so it's some sort of payout of some sort. So if you're looking for something that pays a dividend that's pretty rock solid, and doesn't move very much, this would be something you might want to take a look at. So when we look at, when we see something like this where price has already taken a hit in pre-market and it's showing up here, that means that they've knocked it down for the dividend. So taking a look at TLT from a chart perspective, um, we have a normal May expiration on this particular one. Uh, more or less a 20 delta kind of a trade that we did back here on this dip. Uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea adding to it here. And you could do that. And I am going to write that in as a 20 delta and we'll just add to that current position. So at what expiration? Well, what are our choices here? We could do 
this normal May expiration here. And I don't know if I would end up buying some more at the same. No, it would be at 109. And I couldn't do shorts here because I'd end up buying these back. So I can't do that. <clears throat> so I would just pick another expiration. Next one out, which would be the May 4 expiration with a 20 delta is right here at 108. Maybe I'd go to 108.5. And I would do a credit spread there. Let's see what we got here. And we get 10 cents on that. With that. So that's 5 to 1. So that wouldn't be too bad. And we could move this out to um, 108.5 or 1075. And we would get 18 cents, so that's still about 5 to 1. That would be a good 20 delta trade. So just, just to let you know, I mean, I've been doing 20 delta trades for years, so it's nothing new for me. Just using the CSS V2 indicators as signals to enter. And that's, that's the only real difference. Take a look at Tesla. We jumped in on Tesla yesterday. The alert went off. Uh, I went in at a 50, 50 delta on that one using momentum, hopefully on our side, and maybe we can pull some money out of this for this weekend. I did two of them. UNP did a 20 delta on that. We talked about that one. And last but not least is Visa. Uh, and Visa is setting itself up for a maybe a 50 delta there's not a lot of momentum here though that's that's what m makes me a little nervous uh, but it is a setup and we'll take a look at it and that is it for today thank you very much for watching have a great day and above all happy trading